Hello, hello, hello. I am ZD Love. Thank you for stopping by. Today, we're going to talk about Season 3, Episode 13 of Love After Lockup. Drop down and hit like, subscribe, and share. Today, we're featuring Quaylen and Chevelle. Okay. So, the episode starts off with Chevelle taking Quaylen to see her pastor. They're going to have a man-on-man discussion, you know, and while they're there, Quaylen lets the pastor know that, you know, he feels like he's under a lot of pressure from Chevelle and her family, you know. Um, he's in a rough situation because he has been locked up for 12 years. So the pastor asks Quaylen, who is his biggest support system? And surprisingly, he said his mother. Your mother? I mean, I get that you love your mother, but currently you are living here with this woman, Chevelle. She's doing everything for you, holding you down. You don't have a job. So how is she not your biggest support system? See, this is a problem when desperation set in and you just want a man because he doesn't appreciate her. He really does not like her. Later in the episode, we find out that she's upset because he got up that morning and he didn't say good morning to her. I get where she's coming from. It's rude. How dare you wake up in someone else's house and not say good morning? I mean, damn, you slept with that woman last night. You didn't say good morning to her? How rude. <clears throat> you know, ladies, another thing you guys got to be careful about, whenever you guys feel like you take a man to the church or you find him in the church or he's he, he, he's he's open to being involved in church, you feel like you've got a winner. You guys got to cut that shit out. You're just being delusional. Seriously, that's it's more to life than that, you know? So, um, he doesn't want to talk to her in the car. He feels like she's being a nag. She's saying to him, why didn't you want to speak to me this morning? You know, he's like, well, I don't want to talk at 7 o'clock in the morning. And she was like, well, when you were in jail, when you was in prison, you was calling me at 7 in the morning. I was accepting your calls and talking to you then, and it wasn't a problem. Now, all of a sudden, you don't have anything to say. You don't want to talk. Right, because there's a huge difference between a prison relationship and a real relationship. Um, you know, homeboy should have went home with his mama. Mm-hmm. Is what he should have done. And, you know, he's distant because now you really got to get to know each other. It's different when he was in jail. You know, he got off the phone. He went to go hang out with his real girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, his real homies, his real peoples. I think he was kind of missing them because he did mention that he was out. You know, he's like, well, I was always with my home, you know, with in jail with my with my homeboys or whatever. So, yeah. Um, but he was there for 12 years, so that's his family. You know what I mean? That's what he knows. That's what he's familiar with. I'm not <clears throat> saying he's wrong because he did just come out of prison. But my thing is that you shouldn't be selling people hopes and dreams because basically you are using her. He didn't use her in a sense financially. I don't know what she... I'm sure she sent him plenty of money, but you used her in a sense emotionally. You you made all these promises to her because you wanted her to continue to be dedicated to you while you were locked up because you wanted her to continue to send you things and be there for you. So you did use her, yes, because you know you didn't want her. Clearly, you don't want her. Like I said, you don't say good morning to her. You know, you don't want to talk to her. You have nothing to say to her. And that's just basically what it is, you know? And you really should have went home to your mom. Hopefully... You will do that. I'm sure this relationship is over, obviously. And it should be when you think about it. He was locked up for 12 years. He went to jail when he was, what, 17? He's had no freedom in his life. He doesn't know what it is to be a grown man. And so come to expect a man to come out of prison to be your daughter's father, your daughter's five years old, you need to be working on a relationship with, his, with her father, some kind of friendship, some kind of co-parenting situation, instead of trying to force her off on some other man, because now he's gone too. So she's been abandoned twice because of you. You have her calling some man daddy that you're not even married to. You can't call him your husband, but he, she's calling him daddy. That makes no sense. Women, we have to stop fucking with the minds of our children because basically that is what you're doing. It is, it's a mental and it's emotional abuse. Because think about it. When you break up, your feelings are hurt. Imagine how your daughter feels. She's been calling this man daddy and now... They have nothing going on. I forgot to go be nosy and look and spoiler alert on this video. But I mean, hey, Ray Charles could see what was going to happen here. I'm sure this didn't work out. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you know, stop being, what do they call them? Captain save a hose. Right. Y'all saving these men. Y'all trying to save men. Y'all trying to buy a relationship. You're trying to 
fill positions, basically. And when I say fill positions, I mean because, like I said, a lot of people, it's the fantasy. It is, you know, I, I want to live in a house. I want to have the white picket fence. I want to have the husband. So you don't necessarily love the person, but it's just the optics of it all. You want what you want what appears to be the perfect life. And there is really no such thing. But we've been brainwashed through media, television, and songs, and romance novels, if you're into that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share, and drop down there and leave a comment or two or three or five or eight. All right. I'll see you all on a later date. Deuces.